Hello guys, I'm back with this series again. This is the second one and in this series we're going to be talking more about bit of data items and mostly we'll be talking about the decision task and we will do something productive. So let's get started. So this was the old one. Let's just uh, what we will do is let's try to understand what exactly is a decision task. So decision task is something that you already know why you are taking decisions in your life. If this then do that. If I get up early in the morning, I will go there. If, if I if I get up late, I will sleep again. So just kidding. So let's say uh, decision. I just put it. Now what you do is it's very simple. You give an expression to evaluate. Let's just say um, nine greater than five. Is it nine? Is it greater than five? Yeah, it's greater than five. So where is the if then else? So here I go. So this is where the if and then else lies. You know, reset it. So delete, delete. What I'll do now is um, I um, I'm just gonna link them, link it, and here, here. All right. So see here, yes comes automatically. So the first one that you connect, that that becomes the yes, and the next one will be no. All right. So uh, so if I add another end task, and if I try to connect it, then you will see this is no. And if you want to flip it, you can flip it. You can just switch. So if you switch here, this becomes yes, no. I, I'm, I sure, I'm sure you understood this one. It's very simple, right? Now saying that, now let's move on to. So just delete this one, and uh, all right. So simple. So that's what a decision task is. Now how do I? Uh, so that was just the technique. Sorry, that was just the technical definition. So how do I make it uh, how, something like useful? So what we'll do is let's do a small algorithm or logic. That way you can understand. So what we'll do now is let's say let's just take this example where 10 and then this one is 20. So what we'll do is add. So instead of connecting that, first you connect it with this add. Double click. Now let's say uh, what we'll do is add it. So var1 plus var2, right? And I'm storing the result here. Now what I will do, I'll go to the decision task and I will say, so this one is static, nine greater than five. What I'll say is result is greater than um, 40. So result, if it is greater than 40, then, so this connected and just go here, right? It's quite simple. Then, um, if this is true then so this one is no just switch it and add another this task and task is it in task yeah right link it simple uh save it uh just one second so this is pretty much done so i'm i'm sure you understood what i'm doing right now so start add I added something then I'm evaluating the result 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 and you know that 30 is greater than 40 is it no so my thing should go to here no right so that's what I want now let's see just reset it run it data items must be between the brackets so what is it saying data items is must be between the brackets so what to fix it go here what you want to do is you want to uh, so to always be on the safe side you go here and you use this expression so this is the bracket that it was bragging about now it's fixed so it's greater than 40 so it shouldn't show any issue right now what you do is can i run it no reset it save it run it did it work yeah as you can see it worked so we did something uh, different um, added a value so there was basically two things you add something or let's say add subtract multiply we are using the output of this add thing here as a decision task is a decision making thing all right very very simple now let's complicate this algorithm further what I'm going to do is let's do something like a loop all right so let's just say let's just delete this stuff and 
let's say I want to create a data item let's say increment I will I would like to uh, count I'm sure you know this word count count is equal to count plus one count plus plus you would have seen that thing in C C plus plus in your schools right so this same thing will try to implement here so that you can easily correlate your high school studies here with this uh, tool right so uh, data just let's say I N C R or um, just say let's just say count simple and make a number <coughs> sorry just say 10 here and I'm gonna create one more stuff and I'm gonna say the max value so I'll just name it as the max value so 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 the max value and the max value I'm gonna make it as 15 all right simple what I'll do is in add I will add this count let me increment it by one hey what am I doing I'm just incrementing it by one that's all and I'm storing that uh, let me store that stuff where in the same thing I was I'll, I want to store that same thing here in the count itself so let me store that in the count itself and just say yes okay so what am I doing and I'm just incrementing the stuff and then I'll take a decision that if if what if count if count uh, is equal to the, the max value uh, stop I mean it's over stop it so otherwise so see here if count or let's just say uh, if okay just say equal to fine if count is equal to this thing then it will end it all right um, otherwise what it will do is I want it to loop so I want to kind of like loop it's not exactly a loop but like a loop so how do I do this to do that what I'll do is I will use the anchor so let's say anchor so that's what anchor does it's uh, it kind of like connects the things as you can see here and just a link so I'm linking it hey one minute link 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 you understood right and just trying to create a kind of loop all this is not the loop exactly because this one is the loop we'll be talking about that in the next session and just uh, uh, research save it run it let's just run it and see so what's gonna happen what are we expecting we're expecting a loop for uh, like three four five times right so let's just see run add decision okay see here just observe this one this keeps on increasing can you see that it is 12 all right 13 14 15 it stops boom done right when it's 15 it should end now and yeah done right it's a, a kind of like this one is a bit funny compared to the last boarding thing that we did this bit funny but I hope you enjoyed it liked it all right so we're gonna end this session right now thanks for getting tuned and watch out for the next thing we're going to be talking more about the loops and other stuff thanks guys thank you very much for getting tuned love you all